receiving God's word Jesus Christ only comes when from a state of being where this world becomes foolish to you it becomes useless it becomes hopeless you see hope that is of this world is not hope all these things that you see they are all but they're temporary the only things that will live forever is God's living and abiding word that is why we have to become a part of that word that is why we have to become a part of that light that is why we have to become a part of that truth that is why we have to become a part of that way you see all everything that we do we must live breathe and abide in this God's Spirit you see and we will know each other those who do such things because you see the characteristics of the Spirit of God within those people they do not preach themselves they do not preach this kingdom or this world they do not preach the nations of this world the flesh of this world they preach a kingdom that flesh and blood cannot inherit they think in accordance with that kingdom whose builder and maker is not man you see now these things are done spiritually these are people that are spiritual people not carnal people they don't focus on physical observations physical senses they focus, focus on spiritual observation and spiritual senses that are submitted to the Spirit of God they eat and drink of godly things spiritual things spiritual food spiritual water they receive the will of God for their lives Jesus said you see it's not real to people in one place in the scripture it's written you know Jesus said give me meat and the disciples thought carnally oh yeah you know, should we go to the town and buy meat and Jesus said no my meat is to do my father's will you understand my friend so when you start having a living abiding relationship with God you start receiving meat you start receiving the will of God for your life not what he's told Peter to do you see or what he told how he told Peter he's gonna you know he's gonna have to die and how he told Paul and it's that's Paul and Peter and all the others you see but what is he telling you and me this is what we need to know you see we need to know this we need to seek after it we need to seek after God's mysteries you see we need to become part of his kingdom and in order for that to happen then you see we can't go around uh, 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 focusing just on scriptures you see the scripture when it's exposed to you by the Spirit of God when it is opened up to you you realize that it's about Jesus Christ you see it's all about Jesus Christ and in order to judge the spiritual things in order to know things you need to go to the Spirit of God that is the only way you can know anything otherwise it's just a show or an act you see and it's temporary because flesh and blood will not pass through the fire of God you see think about it even now if you put your hand in the fire it has power over your flesh you see it does not have power over your spirit it has power over your flesh I I I I I I I challenge anybody put your hand in the fire and it will not remain it will start burning the only time it will not burn is if God decides that it's not this guy is not gonna burn today or this person you see then it won't have power over you see so this is what it is my friends is that our our existence has to become spiritual we need to be spirit first and then in order for that to happen you need to submit the flesh then all the fleshly carnal things become secondary you see this world and the things of this world in accordance with the eyes the ears the Spirit of God in accordance with the Spirit of God this is the sense this is the lens by which we look through it and see everything but now most people are trying to look and 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 define the Spirit of God just like you would define a bacteria under a microscope you see or just like you would uh, 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 observe uh, an experiment you see 
and you see something and then you start writing down the physical observation the meantime you don't know what is the spirit behind all these things you have no relation with it you take the scriptures and you start giving your own understanding to those scriptures you see you start giving your own take on these things you see you, the most important thing because anyone can when a, when when a liar is around you he can just tell you anything and you you believe him because you see you hear what you need to see and hear physically but you do not see and hear the person's motives and intentions the only way you can know those things is by the Spirit of God you see and in order for you to hear from the Spirit of God you have to have a relationship with him and everything you take to him all the things that you do whether it's your job whether it's your wife your husband whatever because all these things my friends they are secondary your physical family is secondary to the family of God to the Spirit of God you see many times they tell you other things you will tell somebody when you're in the wrong frame of mind maybe you have gone through you're gonna tell somebody something wrong you see so you have to truly die to yourself and preach Jesus Christ force yourself to say what you have received you see not what I mean it's good you can say what somebody else received it's true but then you see it's it doesn't have the power you have to receive from Jesus Christ because then when you have to start doing things when you actually go when you are sent you cannot be sent unless you are prepared unless you are ready you see otherwise as soon as you get sent one temptation that you failed I mean that you've never really you know gone through the temptation you immediately it comes you fall so you have to be go through some preparation period so that when the temptation comes you're able to overcome when this test comes, you're able to overcome when that trial come you're able to overcome because you know where to go you know where to derive your strength you know where to derive your wisdom you know where to derive your power and that is all from the Spirit of God testifies of the Word of God who is the Word of God you see so this is where we need we need to learn how to make everything we have to live and breathe in the Spirit of God now this world does not want to do that they have submitted themselves to finite things to temporary things to a freedom that people are telling you you can be free outside of God's will outside of God's Spirit you cannot be free outside of God's Spirit it's not freedom my friends it's something else and then when God you see when God comes close to people he's a consuming fire you see so if you say Lord I want to be close to you and you are dwelling in the flesh you're gonna get burnt it's gonna be he, he won't come close to you not because he doesn't want to but because you're not gonna make it through you see so that is why you have to learn to live in the fire in the Spirit of God that is what you must learn to do and then for that then the flesh has to you see you have to start shedding it start submitting it see stop trying to interpret spiritual things carnally you cannot do that you cannot take the scriptures and define the Spirit of God it's the Spirit of God that will define the scripture and then you realize it's about the Spirit of God and being led by the Spirit of God you take the scripture you take we listen to each other those that are of the Spirit to encourage ourselves to go back to the Spirit of God to encourage ourselves to realize the testimony of the living Word of God Jesus Christ not just the testimony to Paul and Peter but in our own lives what has become real to us for example they say Shadrach Meshach and Abednego were thrown in fire Daniel was in the lion's den Samson had to fight so-and-so David had to fight Goliath Moses was thrown here someone now in your own life what have you gone through where you can say it is the Jesus Christ that brought me out from here you see this is the living testimony so when you speak this it encourages people it, in, it testifies of Jesus Christ you see it's not of this world anymore your own hands could not save you your own finite mind could not save you you were dumbfounded when Daniel was saved by, by, uh, by God in the lion's den how did the lions not consume this man fail to understand it confounds human wisdom then you th the other people were thrown in and the lions went and ate them and their families 
How? It's physically we are talking. You see? How did this happen? My friends, these things, they confound the wisdom of this world. The foolish things that Daniel did and that all of us do for the sake of God. We become foolishness. We pray. We seek God. When people are vengeant toward you, you're not vengeant toward them. When people are preaching things of this world, you're preaching things of the world to come. You see? When people are talking about, you know, all these carnal things, you have something spiritual to tell them. You see? When people are being fierce, you are being gentle. When people have no compassion and mercy, you have compassion and mercy. When people are selfish, you are selfless for the sake of the kingdom of God. You see, these are the things. Now you cannot do none of these things if you are not receiving the word from God. If you are not receiving Jesus Christ in your life. If you are not eating and drinking of, his, of Him. If you are not partaking of Him. If you are not receiving His light. Then you have nothing to shine. Then you start shining something else. You start uh, 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 showing something people can see with their physical eyes. You see, the scriptures and try to try to try to live off the the, 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 the hard work of other people. Peter and Paul who received visions. In the scripture of their time, how were they able to discern whether Peter and Paul received these visions from the Spirit of God? Because those visions were not recorded in the scriptures of the day. You see? Why? Because they walked with Jesus. They lived with Jesus. He corrected them. He told them so many things. You see, this is the same thing with us, my friends. We've got to walk with Him. We've got to go to Him. We've got to ask Him. Ask Him for wisdom. Show us the way, Lord. Give us the way. Give us the truth. Give us the life. Forgive me if I did wrong today. You know my intentions. You know my... Mo There's nothing we can hide before God. Nothing. So it's, it's pointless to pray these auto automaton prayers, you know, and to, to, to start uh, just ranting and raving. Oh, I need this. I need that. Oh, help me. You're doing your own will. You see? So first of all, you need to stop doing your own will. And what you want, and then take God and say, you're going to do this for me. No, it doesn't work like that. You see? It doesn't work like that, my friends. We've got to humble ourselves. We've got to become hopeless when we look at this world. This world is hopeless. It's temporary. It doesn't abide according to the spirit of true wisdom with Jesus Christ. You see? And the kingdom of God only abides by the Spirit. Everything we see in this world, we take it to Jesus. Whatever I say and do, you take it to Jesus Christ. You take it to the living world. You see? And that's what it is, my friends. That is true family. The true family is the people that only worship Jesus Christ. You see? And follow after His ways. Now how can you follow after His ways and worship Him if you don't know Him? You know of Him. You're reading scripture, but you never go to him. Go to him, my friend. You gotta go to him. Humble yourself. Close your physical eyes. A baby is obedient to his parents because it doesn't know much in its mind. You see, most people are lost in knowledge. You see, in the tree of knowledge, in the spirit that are defining them are temporary spirits. So go to Jesus Christ. Receive from him. Get guidance for your life because when you receive that guidance and you start receiving, you start making a difference in this world. 